In this video, I'm going to show you a few things. One of them will, sh will be how to copy URLs of those images which are located on the Dropbox public folder and insert those URLs in the Excel spreadsheet. The example that I will use is this folder of images that I want to insert into the Geek Seller panel. So you can see here that I have the same product because this beginning of the URL is the SKU. So this is the same product, this, this and that. But this is an image one, image two and image three. Now, what, I'm, what I want to do is if you go to the Geek Seller panel, I want to insert this <coughs> the first URL over here, the second here, the third one here, and I will use an Excel spreadsheet to make that happen. So first of all, how to get those images, the URLs of those images to the Excel spreadsheet. So I will use OpenOffice. Let me create here an empty spreadsheet. Now I have this Dropbox folder opened let me copy those URLs. For now, I can just copy small amount of those images. Now I will insert this here. What you see here is those are the hyperlinks, right? But we do not have um, links to the URLs. And actually, it's I didn't find a way how to easily extract this information to the other column. So let me show you how I did it. I go here to file, I click save as and I'm saving this as HTML. So I'm saving this data that I have over here as an HTML file. So let me save it. Now let me open this file. You can see this is an HTML file, just a regular website. I have to see the source of this page. Now I'm using Ctrl A shortcut to just select the entire uh, content of the source. I copy this source. Let me go back now to my open office. I will go to the new sheet and click paste Ctrl V. So you can see I pasted here this data. Let me remove this column, it looks like this is an empty column. Now let me clean it up. So first of all I will sort it and I see this beginning is unnecessary at all, it doesn't have information that we are looking for and also the end of this data is something we are not interested in. Now what you can see here is that each line has an HTML code but inside this HTML code, you actually see uh, the URL of the image. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this column. Then I go to data and text to column. You can see here, I can select different ways of separating, uh, of converting text to column. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use uh, quotation marks. So I'm just selecting this, OK, and you can see we actually extracted this in a nice way. So that let's see here, one of the columns contains just what we need, which is the URL. Let me remove those two columns here. So we have links to those images here. Now, very important part that you have to remember is that those URLs will take you to the preview of the image. So if you open it, this is not actually a link to an image, but it's a link to a preview of this image. Now, if you want to have a link to the image, you have to just replace this DL equal zero to DL equal one. And you can see when I do it, 
a browser will automatically download this image to my computer. Um, so let me do it over here. Let me go back to my open office and what I'm gonna do is I'll just select this. I will do control F. I will make sure that I have selected this, selected only, uh, only the current selection and now I'm converting, let me see here. What I'm gonna do is I will just replace DL equal zero with question mark DL equal one. Replace all, you can see it replaced all of them. So those are now valid links. Now, in order for me to import this data correctly to Geek Seller, what I have to do is actually I need URLs and SKUs. I know that the beginning of the name of the file is a SKU. So let me now convert this again to columns. So those are the names of files. I'm just, I'm just, let me replace first this one, we'll just remove it, and now what's left is this, so let me just convert this to text by using .jpg. Okay, so you can see that what's left uh, are just those names, but it's still not representing the skills. So what I have to do is I have to go to text to columns again and I will convert this by the underscore. Now this is what, what, I'm, what I'm getting. Uh, so I know that this is the URL, this is the SKU and this is the number of which, pro, which image it is. Um, now this one which doesn't have any number. I know that this is the only image for this particular product. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to sort it like this and I know now those are single product with, I mean product with a single image. This is the first image of those products. This is the second, third. Now I'm going now to Geek Seller and I have one product added here. So I just need a template so I'm selecting one and I'm from the bulk action I'm just exporting uh, an advanced let's say XLS file this is what I'm getting over here I will remove everything except columns that represent images so I know this is the image one this is additional asset one asset URL asset URL two so I will need only um, first, second and third uh, image. So let me remove everything else from this file. Okay. Now, this is my empty template over here. So this is how I'm going to do it. So first of all, let me start with products which have only one image. So I will just copy those here, those SKUs here. I will copy those URLs here. I will save it and I will upload it to Geek Seller. Now I will just mark this that I took care of this. Now the next one, let me start with those where there is the first URL uh, the URL for the first image. So let me select it here to mark it some color that I'm taking care of this right now. I copy this over here. And I'm copy those URLs. And I'm copying them, please notice to main image URL, right? Now I will remove those two. because I don't want to upload an empty value there. I will save it and I upload it now. But now what I'm gonna do next is I will take care of the number twos. Let me select this. 
copy those URLs, paste it here, and now notice that I'm inserting this into here to the first additional image and I need to remove this column before I save it and also this one the this one and this one so I'm uploading at the time only SKU with the specific uh, image now if I would if I were uploading a file with this column present here and I will save it like this and then upload it to Geek Seller. What will happen is for those URL, for those SKUs over here, the main URL would be wiped out, right? We would just upload an empty value. Because we just we uploaded already over here in the first batch uh, URLs for those images, and now we want to upload again with an empty value. No, we don't want to do it, so we just have to remove it and remove it, right? So this will be the second file that I'm going to upload, actually the third one. And the last one that I'm going to do is I will use the asset tool to upload the images which are marked here as number three. So I'm going to copy the URLs, insert here. Let's see, like this, right? So now we can save it, upload it and then those images will exist in Geek Seller.